Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs and welcome to this tutorial on creating hair in Blender Cycles. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over just the basic settings that you need to create your hair and just the basic actions such as the styling and things like that. I'm not going to go into any heavy detail, but I will give you a link in the description for a training video that I think is very good as far as uh, learning more about the uh, different settings that you can do in hair. So to start out with, I have this character here that I created some time ago. It's for a project that I'm working on uh, with my friend of mine that is going very, very slowly, unfortunately, but um, hopefully one day we'll get there anyway. So this character is named Miss Arroway, and she has, or supposed to have, this blonde hair. So I have this hair. I also have sort of a braid at the in the back there and this is what she looks like if I render her right now and before I brought her over into and converted this file for cycles render this is what she looked like in using blender internal so comparing the two you can kind of see that quite a difference cycle does cycles does a much better render as far as hair goes so I'm going to show you how to go about getting this kind of effect in your hair settings with cycles. Now in order to do this, you don't need a human model. You can use a sphere or you can use a cube. It doesn't matter. You can use it anything, anything that you can create in Blender. You can pretty much put hair on. And when you think of hair, creating hair in cycles, also don't get bogged down like I did for a while. I mean, just thinking about hair. Um, when you create hair in cycles, think particles and because with hair the hair setting in particles you can create also fur you can create a fuzzy kind of cloth sort of thing uh, I've even seen where people have used the hair particles to create instances of uh, what looks like buildings in the background so you can do a lot of different things with the hair particles uh, just be creative with them but today we're just going to cover a, a normal human hair so the first thing I'm going to do, let me get rid of this hair that I've created so we can start out fresh. And let me get rid of this stuff here. Okay, so we have oh, one more thing I want to get rid of, sorry. My hair material. Start out completely new with this. Okay, so here is our basic ball-headed character. So how do, we, how do we go about creating hair on this character? Well, when you create hair, you have to tell Blender where to put the hair. Uh, if you don't tell Blender where to put the hair and you say, I want it on this object, it's going to put the hair all over the object. So the first thing you need to think about is where you want the hair to be. So in this case, we want the hair to be on the scalp. So I'm going to tab in edit mode and what we're going to do is create a vertex group. So I'm going to choose my vertex select down here and I'm going to come over here to object data and I'm going to choose the plus mark to create a new vertex group and just double click in this group and I'm just going to name this, well let's name it scalp because that's really what it's, what it is. And then we need to select our vertices anywhere we think that hair should come out of basically on the scalp. So I'm just going to choose my C select tool and I'm going to come down here and turn off occlude just so I can select everything in the back as well. So I'm just going to kind of paint select all across here. Choose three on the numpad to go into the side view and C tool and just continue to select everywhere you think that hair would be growing out of. Okay, so that's good enough for our purposes. And I'm just going to go back to our group over here and choose Assign. And that will assign these vertices to that group. So if I, I can test that by choosing Deselect and select on that group and as long as it's selecting what we just created then you're good. So I'm just going to deselect that, tab back into object mode and now we can start to add our hair. 
So I'm going to come over here to Particles, and I'm going to choose the plus mark to add a new particle, particle system. Double click in here, and I'll just name this Hair. Hit Enter. And for the settings, if you create a particle system, you can create and change all these settings. And it's sort of like materials, I guess, in a way where if you want to, say, for example, what I did with this character, I made the hair and then I added that ponytail. So what I did is I just added the hair, did the settings the way I wanted them to. Then I added a plus mark and then I called it ponytail and, and basically it, it enabled me to copy all those settings very quickly. But in this case, we're just doing the, the hair, so I'm going to change this to hair. Okay, so we have our name. And then for emitter type, when you choose this, we do want hair. And then immediately when we do that, you can see it's added hair all over our model. Okay, and then the reason that it did that is because, again, it doesn't know yet where we want that hair really to come from. So let's take a look further in our settings. Let me go ahead and bring this over so we can see it better. I'm going to choose Advanced. And the first thing that we need to look at is the emissions. So right now we have a number of a thousand, a thousand hairs coming out of everywhere basically, and a hair length of four. So for the number of hairs on a human head, I think it ranges something you know between 900 and a thousand something. So a thousand is probably a pretty good starting point for hair, so we'll leave it at that. But the hair length we need to make a lot shorter than this. And the reason is when you go to uh, style the hair, when you go to comb it and everything, it gets really, really, really hairy. <laughs> I just had to put that pun in there. Okay, it gets really bad when you try to comb the hair if it's long hair. So I can't stress enough, you want to start out with short hair. So I'm just going to bring this down and just kind of look at the size of this. I don't know. We'll start at, out at like 0.70 or something, or 0.070. And as you experiment with creating hair, um, these two settings become very important because once you make these and once you go in to actually style the hairs or comb it and everything, these get grayed out. So you don't have the ability to go back in here and change these. Uh, you'll have to create a new particle system and redo that. So you want to try to get these um, what exactly the way you want them right off the bat. So from there, we want to emit from faces. We can emit from verts. It doesn't matter too much for this, but we'll leave it at faces. Uh, random's fine. Even distribution's fine. Jittered, I'm not quite sure what it does, um, but I, I'm just going to leave it at that and leave the rest of these settings the way they are and just collapse this emission settings here. Next we have hair dynamics. Uh, if you check this, you can see that there's some things here that have to do with the way the hair reacts if you do um, like animation with the hair and everything. So we're not working with that at all. I'm gonna turn that off and collapse this. Velocity, you can change the way that the hair, as far as like, um, extends from the emitter object. So if we change X, you can see it just goes kind of wacky that way. So we're not doing any of that. I'm going to leave those settings the way they are. So we don't need to worry about velocity. Rotation, we're not going to worry about that. If we go to uh, physics. We don't really have to worry about physics because that has to do with mainly with the particle uh, physics instead of hair. And then on render, we do need to worry about something here. And one of the big things is the material that's going to be right here. So let's go ahead and create our basic material. So we're going to go to the materials here, choose plus and do a new, double click in here. And we're just going to call this hair. And right now, I mean, we're just going to, we're going to be doing more with this later, but just for now, let's go ahead and just give it a basic color here. And I'm just going to do something weird here. Like I'm going to give her green hair. So, and you can you're, feel free to you know make whatever color you want there. So once you have your basic material set up, go back to the particles. Okay, and then under the render, we can select this and choose hair. Okay, we do want to render the emitter, which is the scalp, basically. 
Um, you can turn that off and I guess you would probably get a render of just the hair, but uh, in this case, that doesn't make any sense since we're rendering a person. So the rest of these, we're gonna leave it at path. We're gonna leave these settings. Come down here, you can use B spline if you want. That's just mean, just means that it's gonna be using B spline. Eh. Just means that it's gonna be using B spline geometry uh, in order to create some of this if it needs to. Um, steps, I usually change this to six. And you can think of steps as, if you look at a strand of hair, uh, think of the number of points along the strand of hair that can actually bend. So, sort of like a number, number of verts, vertices that would be in there.